Previously. Previously. Previously on. Previously on. Previously on. Previously on. Previously on. Previously on the recap sequence. Hey folks, welcome to the recap sequence. Uh, we are, it's uh, another Saturday morning, beautiful Saturday morning. I've got yes. the window open down here for you. Look at that. Oh, fresh, wow, look at fresh that. Fresh air. Yeah. Flat, uh, all that just, uh, just I thought it was just the over. fan next to me here. No, so. that too. Yeah. Okay. It's upgrades, studio upgrades. We've got, uh, <laughs> we've got some climate control going on here. We've had a couple of heat waves that really kind of, uh, yeah. uh, you know, saturated my basement. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. We have, uh, as always, we have a great guest on today. Uh, Devin Taylor is uh, joining us. Thanks so much for, uh, for having a chat with us today. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. I'm uh, pretty excited to be here. Awesome. So, Devin, I got to start. Normally, we we save one of these questions till the very end, but we had a chance. We got to meet you at uh, East Coast Comic Expo back in June, and uh, we I went around and introduced myself to you and uh, Dave Cutler and Brianna June because you guys were going to do a sketch battle together, and I remember coming up to you, and I said, hey, uh, is there a bucket list of anybody that you want to draw You know, for any particular reason? And you just kind of looked at me, and you were like, no, I'm good with whatever. So I'm like, oh, because the other two had just given me theirs beforehand. We go upstairs, we do the introductions, and of course, I'm like, Brianna, you're going to draw this. Dave, you're going to draw this. What's Devin going to draw? And sure enough, there was one young fella in there with a Deadpool shirt, and you were you left hanging drawing Deadpool bowling, which was an, a hilarious sketch, by the way. Uh, so I got to ask, yeah. do you have a bucket list now of anybody you'd prefer drawing, or is it... Uh... Still all up in the air. Oh geez, I I, <laughs> I I like drawing any anything really. Like I I just uh, I don't know. I love the Marvel and DC characters and stuff. Those are always fun to draw. Like um, Spider Man's kind of my guy. Batman I like a lot. I like it. But uh, I don't like to kind of pigeonhole yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And if I remember correctly, I think this that was your first sketch battle you had ever done, right, at ECCE? Yeah. Yeah. How'd you enjoy it then? How was that experience? Oh, I, I, I love it. I, I love doing stuff like that. Um, I don't get to, you don't get to draw in front of people very often. So it's like the closest I'm going to get to being a performer, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> What I, and what I find amazing is, uh, uh, you know, people who have such a good, uh, like, a, a knowledge of what what are the what are the elements of a specific character. So when you're asked to draw somebody like Deadpool, like the suit down, you got the you got the attitude down, you got the you, like uh, that kind of thing. So you say you like Batman and and Spider Man. Like, do you do you find uh, you know there's there's things that when you draw a Spider Man, you cannot get this wrong. You know, you have to you have to make sure you get these these sort of elements uh, specifically right. To to really represent uh, the the character, I'd, I'd say Batman's kind of more specific to having rules about because, like, if you put Batman in a Spider Man pose, it doesn't really work. No, it right. ruins yeah. the mystique. Of Batman, <laughs> yeah, <right>? yeah. <laughs> he's not so that, that bendy. Yeah, yeah, kind of just maintaining that kind of iconic shape and just kind of the his attitude is a little more specific uh yeah spider-man's just kind of you know he's a teenager who's kind of all over the place and you know he's can be awkward or weird or he can look cool or you know you can you can have a few more options with spider-man where batman's more stiff i guess yeah. would you say like the batman like the body is pretty much the same it's how you draw like the cape and cowl because there's so many different iterations of of that batman the that look out there yeah well like there's a lot of ways to make batman look kind of inelegant and i think you should always kind of have a grace to him in mm -hmm. a way you know like um yeah I know where I'm getting my next sketch from if I if we run into Devin again. <laughs> yeah, prepare, prepare yeah. for a commission. Ryan's a big Batman <laughs> fan, by the way. So he's a... <laughs> uh, do you have? Uh, so I'm I'm curious with you. Wh where did this all start? How'd you get into doing what you're doing now? Um. Well, I, I've always been drawn, and I always wanted to draw comics. And my, I, I remember like my earliest memories of like the Marvel characters was uh, the. I can't remember what they were called, but it was like a set of uh, Marvel cards 
they had a, for a few years running there. And uh, I just love those cards. Just the artwork on them was so cool. And like, I just, I trace them and I color some of them. And, you know, I got cards that are all red because I thought, <laughs> you know, the Hulk would look cool red. Uh, before the actual red that's Hulk. right yeah nice. right. i know i'm ahead of my time <laughs> i just want to say that's you know, like like simpsons level uh, you know like intuition yeah. <laughs> yeah but um it was uh it, it was kind of that and then you know i kind of discovered the comics but i was never really like a, a collector and like i just kind of got the comics that i could find around so mm, yeah uh, um but yeah the artwork was always something that really kind of jumped out at me and it was uh, kind of that way that I figured I, I wanted to draw comics and, and superheroes in particular. I, I really liked a lot. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my first in there. And then I, I drew and drew and drew for years. And then uh, when I eventually was going to, figure out what I was going to do with the rest of my life. I uh, uh, figured I'd go somewhere to learn how to draw. So I went to animation school. Uh, okay. I went to NBCC in Miramichi. Oh, right on. And I, I took that uh, animation program. And um, yeah, so I, I drew there a lot and just got better and better. And uh, it, it like, it takes time. And yeah. Uh, but I, I went into animation and I was an, an, an like a professional animator for about seven ish years. And I did like storyboards and uh, character designs and stuff. And that's how I kind of, but it's all, all kind of been building blocks to get to, mm -hmm. to draw comics. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I got to do character designs for Disney on uh, Star versus the Forces of Evil. Right. Wow. Yeah. And from there, I did the comic series uh, that uh, most people don't know exists. But uh, <laughs> well, yeah, we don't. We only did four issues, and then the distributor kind of went under and uh, uh -oh. not disney disney didn't go of course yeah no. yeah <laughs> how is it though to say like you're here here you are you know sketching cards and everything like that and and then years down the road you're actually doing work for disney did you um, ever think that was possible uh I, i've always kind of been uh ambitious i i, I never really thought that i would kind of get to that point because i i've never been like the biggest disney guy mm -hmm. ever like i mean i always appreciated the classical animation and, and all that stuff and but you know i'm not like a like go to disney every year type of guy <laughs> right yeah yeah but um it was a pretty pretty it was a huge deal for me because it's just yeah i mean it's disney television animation exactly yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you have a, a, like you were saying, you do character design, storyboarding. Is there anything, any of those that you, you enjoy doing more than, than the others? Like storyboarding, do you have like a, you set a, a time limit to say you've got to have this done by a certain point or same um, applies to characters designs? Boards, I just kind of, uh, I, I don't get to do a lot of, um, uh, so I, I don't really have like a, I'm usually just, I'll fit it into whatever the schedule is. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I like, I like doing storyboards more cause I, I like the storytelling part of it. That's why I like comics. Cause I can write my own thing. Right. I can draw my own thing and I don't need, you know, a studio to do it for me, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, boards are a lot of, I don't know, it's, it's just like comics only kind of more granular. You kind of have yeah, to sure. break things down more. And I, I like, I just like, I just like the rhythm of comic books a little more. When, when you were doing all of this, would you try to go to comic conventions and 
to to try did, were you trying to showcase your work to other artists or did you go and see other artists just to see what their work was like uh yeah I, well I, t I took my portfolio around uh for a while because like all the time i was working in animation i was developing mm -hmm. you know, my own comics portfolio as, as much as i could and um uh yeah so uh, i started going to the ottawa the con in ottawa and mm -hmm. yeah um i met some really nice people there and uh, i met uh Derek Robertson was really, really, oh wow, really nice, and he had really nice things to say. And uh, Jeff Isherwood, and uh, you know, I, I've met some really, really talented people, and uh, that that's definitely something that I was focused on for a while was get my stuff around to show people and get your uh, name out there. Yeah, and. And I mean, just because I, I love looking at other people's artwork, too. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, there's nothing cooler than original comic pages, I don't think. That's Yeah, that's true. Do you have, uh, were there any artists uh, that you try to not mimic, but sort of um, draw similar to them? Like, is there, is there like a, a Kirby out there or someone else uh, that uh, you're like, this is the guy I idolized growing up? I think kind of my influences are a little too numerous to kind of <laughs> nail down kind of one person because it's mm -hmm. like it's just there's so much there's a lot of talent there. out there yeah and uh instead of kind of trying to ape certain things about other people i i, I mean i try to be me when i draw yeah, stuff. yeah. yeah. and uh so but, how does it feel to be going to conventions like East Coast Comic Expo and being on the other side now with people coming to see you and 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 so forth? Oh, it's it's, it's good. I, I like uh I like meeting young artists and stuff. It's uh kind of invigorating to to you know to see kind of that me on the other side of the table and be like right. mm -hmm. you know the the thing that I needed to hear at that time, maybe I can say that the right thing. And then, you know, cause, cause I, I grew up, I'm from Miramichi and up in the way up in the boonies. So it's like, this stuff was all so far away that there's just no possibility that I'd ever get there. But, um, uh, if there's a kid there that that feels that same way and I can give them a bit of confidence to be like, I can actually do something mm -hmm. like this, uh, that, that gets me excited. That makes me feel really good. Yeah. Oh, great. Great to be in a position where uh, you, you, you love the craft so much, then you're practicing the craft and now you're in a position where you can actually influence others that are sort of following uh, in, uh, in, in your footsteps and, uh, and, and, and coming to see uh, your, your work in progress. Uh, to tell us, uh, uh, tell us about the Cape Cadaver. Uh, so this is a project uh, uh, that, that you've been working on for quite some time. Uh, uh, is, is this, is, would this be sort of a project that as you've been working, you know, in the other areas, storyboarding and animation, uh, this is, sort of where you're looking to to kind of put your own kind of work out there or is this uh is this a project that uh, that you intend to to publish at some point yeah this has kind of been something that uh i've had kind of excuse me in my uh, head for a long time like it first started out as like a stupid little animated short pitch where like this um where like the somebody was robbing a bank and they're running away and they just corpse in a superhero outfit just lands on top of them <laughs> splat and that was that that's that's uh kind of where it started and uh then i just kind of started coming up with more kind of stupid characters and building out the world and making him sort of kind of more a proxy for kind of my experience and uh, 
so he's kind of become more of a fully fledged character where he was this superhero and it's like if in the dark knight returns when superman gets nuked if he stayed that little scraggly you know yeah uh, if he stayed like that for the rest of his life that's kind of <laughs> that's, that's kind of the idea where he's uh learning to cope with being less and finding out that kind of discovering that there's there's power in just the experience of that instead of um instead of being all powerful like god yeah you know and i like your choice for the title because if you read it quick enough it almost cape crusaders no way hold on cape cadaver there we go i I really like that choice for that title did that right. uh, did this sort of revelation build then of sort of the uh, the essence of the character you mentioned kind of started off as just kind of like this silly idea. So uh, as you develop the character and you put more of your personal experiences in it, is that is that sort of how you kind of come up with this sort of uh, comparison to this uh, you know kind of reduced uh, uh, super meta human essentially, yeah. uh, and and then you know finding a finding a deeper meaning to it. Was that the original intention, or did that kind of happen along the way as you developed the story? Uh, it it just kind of it just kind of happened where uh, I just thought that was an interesting place to go yeah. with him because um, uh, I remember like the year that I turned thirty, I uh, uh, tore a muscle in my leg, and now running is difficult. <laughs> sure, yeah. so it's like I don't know that that just kind of gave me that seed of the idea that's like. <laughs> You know, I I can't do the things that I used to do the way I used to do them. Mm-hmm. So I have to find another way to, you know, be the person that I want to be. You know, right? To you know, huh. that yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, it is. That's a really great way to to look at things, just in general. Anyway, uh, you know, as a as a dad. Uh, I should really get them to read your book uh, when it comes because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I really do like that way of uh, I, I'm not like that kind of I'm I'm a very glass half empty kind of um, Ryan deals with this all the time. Uh, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, so it's great that you can find though. Uh, and my, my wife's always one of those people that tries to get me to hone in on that. But what can you do, kind of thing. And um, and, and in my 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 work life, it's the same idea. Like I was in human resources for years, and it's like you know, don't <laughs> what, what what are you capable of? What can you like, focus on those areas as opposed to yeah. you know, kind of like kind of drilling down into what's what's wrong with everything. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, where are your strengths? So I, I love that 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 kind of. Uh, uh, message has uh, has kind of you know bubbled to the surface <laughs> on, on, on what you're doing. That's that's awesome. So where where are you in this process now with the Cape Cadaver? Uh, first issue is half colored. It's been half colored for a while. Uh, so I'm and you're I'm doing like, all of this right, writing, yeah. drawing, coloring, the whole yeah. process. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, writing. I'm 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 doing just kind of. I mean, what you call board driven almost, you know, right. Like, uh, I'm just kind of working out like the visual, working it all out visually and then kind of I'll add in the, the you know, dialogue and stuff, mm-hmm. it, it, you know, like just kind of, because that's just kind of how I think if you can make it work without dialogue and then you do like a little dialogue pass. It'll, I don't know, it might goose it up a little bit, make it sure. a little, little stronger. Uh, and how many uh, do you have a, an idea in your head? Like, so you've got issue. You say it's issue one. How many issues do you have a plan with this? Uh, I th- think I have eight. Wow, something like that was the, was kind of the idea. I'd like okay. to because uh, I because <clears throat> like I, I came up with. Lots of stupid villains like, uh, <laughs> like the 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 Chud brothers are you know three <laughs> cannibals that you know that really would prefer to not be cannibals. Um, uh, but yeah, so there's there's a few ideas in the that uh, 
I'd really like to to get out and uh you know then I can die happy I guess <laughs> <laughs> you point like I I love I love how it too like and, and I mean it's it's funny you're like yeah it was just a stupid idea and then this and then this and this that's pretty much how I think most universes get built in, in, yeah. in the comics world so yeah. as you uh, as you go do you find that you have a kind of a, a responsibility to tell more story as you make it bigger it's like okay now I have to explain this or there's a really cool origin that can now impact this like mm. you get you find all of a sudden it just kind of expands outward as you go in a way that you know like maybe it's not a finite thing you could keep going or do you have kind of a, okay this will end at some point um i kind of have an end in mind but i mean it's not firmed yeah it's well it's not like a it's not like a dead this is dead cadaver yeah <laughs> yeah Wow. So, are you planning to like uh, do a Kickstarter campaign for to to do this? What's uh, how 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 do you uh, plan to go about that that side of it? Um, I'm not sure. I'm focused on getting it it drawn. Right. I, I have a like um, I'm working on like a tabletop game with a with a friend of mine uh, called Famous. Uh, his... so, yeah. Let's let's talk about this as well. Like I, 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 comics I... to tabletop games. That's <laughs> yeah. wow. So that's kind of what I'm I'm trying to get out now. That that's that's definitely going to Kickstarter that one. Um it's a it's just like a tabletop game where you play a, a like a garage band and uh you know, you have like four different musical styles or whatever and there's a bunch of kind of it's like painted artwork and it's it, it's re really a lot of fun. It's a really cool game and I I'm uh really excited for people to see it and if we can get it in front of people i know that that's going to be a really people are going to love that thing it's uh really cool oh, i saw it so the box i, I assume <laughs> it's the box there that's on your website that the the, yeah. the main picture looks amazing yeah uh so uh and uh, i i didn't really I, like i i was looking at it, i was like i wonder what this is about and so explaining it um i was like in i was in a band once so i think <laughs> Uh, I, I would I would probably enjoy this. This game. I think yeah, yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> so uh, yeah. definitely looking for. I like I, I like a really good tabletop game too. And it, there's, surely there's a challenge in developing uh, the mechanics of, of of games and stuff. But it, uh, yeah, I can see how very exciting it would be for you to get that out there and uh, the ability to have that like that that hard. So it's different. I mean, you read a comic, but this is something you sit down and uh, you know you're, you're you're playing it. You're immersed in it. Uh, so it, it must be. I, I do you have. Uh, has the game itself been kind of drafted out in a way that you have, have you been able to play it or uh, yeah. seen the gameplay? Yeah. 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 Jared worked out all that stuff and it, it works really well and it's a lot of fun. And uh, like, I'm not the hugest tabletop guy, but uh, I, I, I don't know. I had a lot of fun and, and he's like a, like a professional musician. He's been a professional musician for a long time. So there's a lot of, nice sort of deep cuts for people that are more into that sort of thing right and, uh, and uh for anybody else it's pretty accessible it's not uh crazy complicated because if i if i can get it any, any. <laughs> yeah, yeah. well that's the Anybody. thing yeah i'm not very good at complicated games i like i like a, a, a you know a standard so you yeah. played board games with me before yeah. you know i don't go too deep um and i'm not a very good improviser either <laughs> right? so like yeah, yeah. so wh when is this expected to uh to launch um i'm i'm not sure when he was gonna launch the kickstarter once he got like so many followers for it uh the artwork is mostly done i just need to do there's just more characters because there's a lot of different musicians and mm -hmm. you know uh i can't remember how many exactly but there's a bunch from different styles and uh those were those are a lot of fun because i like characters and and uh doing goofy weird <laughs> characters and, yeah 
Well, you should let us know when it's ready because we'll definitely help uh, promote this because it sounds like a really cool concept and a really fun idea. I would play it. Like yeah. I would I would put the cameras over the table. We could do a whole episode of play, <laughs> playing the game. I, I would yeah, I'm excited to see this now that I know the concept and uh, I I know nothing about like the, you know, the the, the deep inner workings of the music, music industry, but uh, you know, when you've got somebody who knows that and uh, kind of the pitfalls and twists and turns, that's, it sounds like a really interesting fun game, so. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a game about the just the gamifies the grind of being you know like a crappy you know, <laughs> garage <laughs> band trying to make it big or whatever and uh no i i, I think uh jared did a really really good job like because like working out the gameplay and all those mechanics and stuff that like that just makes my brain melt oh away. yeah yeah so uh so i'm glad he he took care of that part and uh <laughs> I just gotta draw the stuff. Um, talk to us about another project you you were doing, uh, World of Reading, and how'd you get involved in that? Um, it's funny because like it's it's all like a like a twisted line from animation. It's like <laughs> I, I was animating and then doing character designs, and then I got into doing a uh, star, and then from that I did the star the books based on the show, like the spell book and and uh uh the comic and uh from there i kind of got hooked up with the uh, uh disney publishing side of things and um yeah they're doing these uh world of reading marvel books mm -hmm. so i've done a bunch of them i can't remember it's like six or seven or something like that and uh i'm working on a Iron Man one right now. And oh, then, nice. Yeah, so are you are you doing the whole book or just the covers? Uh no, I do I I do the the all the line art for the book. I don't I don't do the color. Um they usually have somebody else do that. Um like I'm looking at some of them here on yeah. on your site. Like uh this is Ghost Spider. I like the fact you got the band in the back, that was pretty cool. Uh <laughs> this is Captain America. This is these are the Avengers. I mean, there's some really good this is Loki. Looks like a good primer too for if you don't know much. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like so uh yeah. This is the mighty Thor. Oh, you've got both of them. Hey, look at that, both of them, both Thors. That's right. that's oh, actually yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. So it's fun now. Now it makes sense when I say, you know, do you have a bucket list? And you can't. You've drew, you're doing you've them. drawn half the the uh, the Marvel universe right there, which is really cool. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I've drawn everything a few times. You know, yeah. just, just like I got a stack of sketchbooks that just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, just kind of getting to draw them in sort of an official capacity is really 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 cool uh um no i i really like doing those books i'd like to do something that's a little meatier that's for you know sure people that can that already know how to read mm -hmm. would, yeah it would be good but <laughs> um but uh they're, they're still a lot of fun to draw those are like i mean pretty pretty good way to pay the bills those guys sure. yeah, yeah sure it is do you find uh you're uh like from a story perspective or is the story written for you like do you just do the drawing uh part of it the illustration or do you yeah come up yeah with i just get a manuscript and uh, nice. kind of uh just do do like a layout pass and they'll approve or disapprove and uh then i'll clean them up from there right. do you get more freedom when it comes to doing the actual cover though uh, with the books uh, um i i uh, usually give them kind of three options for uh when i when i do the layouts and, mm -hmm. and uh sometimes they'll, they'll pick the one that i like and other times they'll pick my least favorite but uh <laughs> um they, they they're pretty good they've been they've been good with kind of letting me do what i want to do i have I mean, I I don't. They have kind of model sheets and stuff mm -hmm. that I don't stray too far from because you know that's the branding side of it, which is yeah, absolutely. 
Hey, this is Jamie. And this is Ryan. And we're the Recap Sequence. Be sure to tune in to us every Wednesday night on CHSR 97.9 FM or online at chsrfm.ca at 7 p.m. Atlantic, 6 p.m. Eastern. And if you don't catch us live, you can catch our podcast on Spotify, on Amazon, anywhere you get your favorite podcasts. And uh, we also have a YouTube channel uh, you may have been watching. And if not, uh, you should be. Catch us on YouTube at Recap Sequence. So and subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, please. What's it like when you got your first, when you actually had your first one in your hands, holding it and. Um, I don't know. It's a. Surreal. It is a little surreal. Um, I don't know. It's kind of, it's, it's a, it's a weird thing to explain. It's like. Um... Cause this is the fun thing that we do now is that we're getting a chance to talk to a lot of uh, creators, writers, and artists who are here in the Maritimes, uh, you know, who, who are, you know, promoting their creator owned books or, you know, projects that they're working on. And, and all of them, they're all like, you know, it's, it, it's a surreal thing to say, I've worked so hard and here's my first issue that's right here in my hands. Yeah. You know, and I, I mean, it's, it's incredible to see the, the explosion of, of creative talent here in Atlanta, Canada. Yeah, um, I the, I always knew there was like a lot of creativity in Atlanta, Canada, but uh, to to kind of the degree to which you know there's some really really incredible people out mm-hmm. here, like uh, uh, and uh, if I I could have seen that when I was young, man, yeah. I, like that would have just blowing my friggin' mind <laughs> that's just it like right now there's, there's there's quite a nexus of uh of of talent that and, and especially the they're, they're we're rich in in convention opportunities <laughs> to to like on the east coast there seems to be a lot and and to the point where there's uh we were talking uh with with justin steves a little while back and he just starts reeling off other ones that i've never heard of before but they've been around for a few years um are you surprised at the uh uh the number of opportunities i guess uh um, uh, available for people to go showcase their stuff on the east coast um yeah i mean i i mean to a to a certain degree like i i don't know i, I feel like we're artsy people yeah and, uh, <laughs> that's uh just kind of another avenue to express that and um i mean to a certain to a certain degree it doesn't surprise me at all but like the thing that's surprising to me is that there's so many nerds oh yeah <laughs> for sure <laughs> nothing wrong with that sure. yeah. I, I i think what i find i won't say surprising i guess um it should be comforting is is just kind of the relative ease people have in dropping uh a, a project that they've done like in you know in, in you know you talk to uh a, a, a lot of folks we we just kind of do the rounds at, uh, at all the creator tables and you realize just how many opportunities folks have had to put their work in front of uh, of some of the bigger publishing houses or uh you know they've been involved in some way shape or form uh so uh, like uh, the it, it i don't know does it seem like there's is there a lot of opportunity as long as you're looking in the right place or uh is it something that you really have to work hard to ferret out a, a chance to to get on a project like these um i mean I, I always seem to take the long way around. Like I, I, my plan for getting into doing these books was like, you know, seven years in animation and then, you know, another five as a freelancer. Right. <laughs> so, um, but uh, no, it's a, it is hard work and, uh, but, but you enjoy it though, right? Oh yeah, like I wouldn't. It's just kind of the thing that I do, you know. Like some mm-hmm. people fish, and some people, you know, rock comics. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just kind of a. If there's a professional opportunity in it, I'll you know I'll take it. But if it's not there, then you know I'm still gonna do it. I just right. Yeah, it's a kind of a sickness. <laughs> but, it's, like, but in, in a yeah. great way yeah you're doing yeah. what you enjoy though. That's, yeah. i think that's the, it's not a job part. yeah 
So you do you pressure yourself or or do you like I don't mean pressure yourself, but uh, I, I guess did you find that the pace uh, you're at a comfortable pace or do you find that uh, uh, there's there's you know, deadlines and expectations in this particular type of business uh, that that make it I don't know less enjoyable or uh, do you have it structured in a way that you kind of keep those uh, pressures uh, you know kind of at arm's length? Um, no, I'm I'm pretty self destructive in my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, no, like just to, that's the kind of part of it that that's harder for me is the, the, the scheduling of things. Cause I want to do everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I tend to kind of let things pile up and then, and then I got three things to do all at once. And then I, you know, don't sleep for right. <laughs> A little while, but <laughs> um, so I, I, so yeah, it's it's really it's a juggling act, right? Because you want to be able to work on something that uh, you know that's that's creator owned, but at the same time, you also need to pay the bills. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so w when talking to you now, you've done comics, you've done board games, uh, I, and you've recently worked. Uh, I thought this was a fascinating collaboration with uh, with Tara Odebear. Uh, yeah. on, um, I'm going, I'm not, I'm, I'm, it's called in English, it's called Fox and the Tiny Demon. Yeah. Uh, this was a film you worked on with her? Uh, yeah, she did like a, like a feature, uh, feature film. Uh, it's, uh, it's like Quaxos Naka Wahantusis. Well, you said it better than I did. That's why I wasn't trying to. I'm, I'm yeah. so glad you didn't. I'm, yeah. I, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll, I, yeah, I'll take that bullet for you. You did it. You did it. I, no, I, I, I did it. But, um, <laughs> Very good. Uh, yeah, no, that was, that's like uh, you don't get to work on a lot of feature films. <laughs> yeah, amazing. What was the experience like for you? Like, uh, how did this come about? Uh, well, I've known Tara for a while. She, uh, it was like after I left NVCC, she started teaching there and stuff. Oh, okay. But she's been in animation and, and that sort of stuff for a long time. And she's been a producer and, and now she kind of got funding to do her own kind of small feature. And uh, yeah, that was a, it was a, a lot of fun. She kind of let me do whatever I wanted to do. And that's kind of the way I like things. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh and you storyboarded yeah. this is this is that how it was yeah i did a storyboarded i can't remember how much it was like 38 minutes of it somehow wow. wow and uh yeah i'm pretty excited to show people the boards but uh I, i'm waiting until kind of she has has it more out there so i can uh kind of show that stuff i don't want to give too yeah. much away right but, uh, this is a good opportunity to be uh, to have your work though exposed to a completely uh, a different set of eyes too right because it's a it'll be film uh it'll be you know subject matter uh is this uh are, are you i assume you're looking forward to this as well as a uh as, as an opportunity to just kind of showcase uh another you know kind of uh, facet of what you do uh yeah yeah i i um i really just kind of took it as an opportunity to uh, kind of work on those sort of filmmaking chops a little bit because because yeah. uh, uh, yeah, those opportunities don't come very often. But uh, no, I, I it is kind of a muscle I don't get to flex very often because <laughs> it's uh, it's a uh, kind of tangential to what I what I'm kind of chasing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, but it's, it's something that's really exciting and, and something that I, I really enjoy doing. Uh, and uh, working with friends and stuff, it was really kind of a, a, a good experience. And I think the I think the boards are pretty cool and I'm pretty excited for people to see them. Right on. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Do you know when the is the, the project out now? Is the film out now or where where they're at with that? Uh, I'm not sure. Last time I checked, they were 
in animation. So, yeah, um, there's a ways to go yet, but um, I, I I haven't I haven't been in touch because I kind of you do uh, your thing. I finished that, then, yeah. put that down, and yeah. I, I sure yeah <laughs> get slammed on other things. So it's uh so yeah I I I'm kind of uh we're kind of in the same place as far as uh knowledge of its uh right <laughs> Fair that's, enough. that's quite something though for a portfolio for what you have and the different genres that you're involved with like now from where you were to to where you are now yeah well, that's the kind of thing like that's always been hard for me because i was like always had trouble kind of understanding where i fit because i i I want to do everything because I, I really, you know, just the storytelling, it's just kind of in my blood for some mm -hmm. reason. And, uh, uh, so yeah, it, it's kind of hard in, in one sense that I, I don't get to sit down and like focus on this one thing, get really good at this one thing. And I'm kind of bouncing all over the place, but at the same time, yeah. I, I'm I'm just a pile of contradictions. I, I don't know. <laughs> It'd be interesting to have you host a panel on how to manage all of this variety, yeah. right? Like, or 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 not manage. I don't know. Like how the how the how do you uh, how do you, how do you get all of this? Like you say, like it'll it kind of takes you off. A lot of these things take you sort of off the path of uh, mm -hmm. of sort of where you've been driven to go forward, which is the you know storytelling on your own you know, sort of comic creation. Uh, but they're all kind of worthwhile uh distractions i i assume yeah yeah that's yeah. why i keep doing them like yeah. if it wasn't something that i was interested in doing i wouldn't do it that's right why, yeah that's that's why i kind of got involved with the the uh the board game because it's yeah. you know something that i was really impressed with and i you know i know it's fun and uh uh i really believe in it and if uh, if I didn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Um. So we saw you at East Coast Comic Expo. Do you have a con schedule coming up or anything else this year? Uh, I'm going to decaf. I oh, think. nice. But um, I think that's my kind of my last thing for the for the year. I got to get uh, a few things off my plate. <laughs> it's like uh yeah have I you been that. have you been to decaf before uh no this will be my first time yeah no en I, uh, enjoy it it's 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 an incredible yeah. experience and it's a lot of fun cal puts on a fantastic show there uh for that and uh part of the fun is what when you're sitting there is watching people come off the ferry not knowing what's going on and walking <laughs> into all of this, this and going this? what is this <laughs> that's even that's even better yeah. right so why are all the nerds here yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, yeah i'll keep my eye out for that that's always good to see somebody walking <laughs> in, in an ambush of nerds uh, yeah right yeah <laughs> when, when you were do you get a chance to walk around like when you were at ecc did you get a chance to walk around and see like the, some of the other artists and writers that were there and or vendors for that fact um not as much as i would like to but uh, if I, if I get a chance to get up and and walk around, it's kind of a bonus, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you know, like I said, like I love looking at other people's kind of original pages and stuff. It's uh, and you know, I, I I've met a few people along the way, and uh, it's nice to kind of say hi and uh, uh but um, I I kind of usually drawn or, or yeah or, yeah uh, it's a challenge to abandon your table when all your things are there and stuff yeah. too like yeah i imagine yeah well yeah I, thing is you never know who you're gonna miss because i remember uh my my wife went out we were in ottawa for the con and uh she left our 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 booth to go kind of look around and uh John Reese Davies came by. No, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I just kind of shot the shit with Gimli for a while. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. So, so nice. Uh, I got to break the news to her that she she. Oh man, she missed, uh, she missed Sala. 
Uh, Something like that happens. You visitor, get, yeah. yeah, do you get a little starstruck right away and go, oh, my God, it's Gimli standing here in yeah, front yeah, of me? I was, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I almost swooned. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. That's um, us. So so we get every once in a while, we go to when we go to Halcon, we get a chance to interview somebody that's been in the movie or something. And a lot of the time, uh, we, we, you know, it's our first experience uh, with, with that person in their body of work. But every once in a while, uh, you get somebody who's so relevant. Like, uh, for me, it was, uh, I was Summer Glau uh, from yeah. Firefly, and uh, yeah, there's this picture of me. We did the interview with her, but uh, I had also gone to get an autograph, and so there's this. It's on it's on our Instagram of me holding my autograph, and I just I, I look like a like a ten year old. Uh, you know, I was just <laughs> so like like completely starstruck, and uh, yeah. So, so I, I can't even uh, imagine having somebody coming and checking out your work. Like uh, for me, I was just kind of like I was following the person. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. you know, kind of a stalker kind of thing. But <laughs> but when somebody comes to see you, and and uh, you know asking questions about what's uh, what's a uh, you know important to you but uh, must be amazing too yeah that was a that was a trip man i, I really i kind of really appreciate it when some of those people do that kind of yeah. uh, you know because i mean it's the these cons are built on the backs of like comics and mm -hmm. comic art and stuff and and you know they're all kind of taken over by this pop culture and yeah and uh you know there's superstar people and and like uh and uh no it's just nice for them to come around and just you know appreciate what you do even, even like even if they don't really appreciate it even if they you know just take the time to do that and right yeah pretend yeah. it's it's uh, <laughs> still putting the time in yeah yeah it's still i I just I like going around like when we go to these things, I'm still a fanboy at heart. So, you know, for, for me to to meet when we meeting all these people, it's because I, I let's talk to you because it's it's interesting. So when, you know, we, we uh, got a chance to to talk to you at the sketch battle, it's like we, we need to get him on the show, uh, you know, because um, this guy seems weird. <laughs> no, no, it, it was it was so best. funny because I, I'll never forget this was when we were asking if anybody had had problems, you know, if what's the worst character you ever drew? And Brianna June was like Iron Man on a horse on roller skates. Right. And you stopped what you're doing. You look at who told you who asked you to do that. And we come to find out it was Andrew Clark, who was another artist that was down there as well. Yeah. Right. So it's like, OK, this is this is the fun thing. So for me, I appreciate all the work you guys put in. And now I'm looking at this and going. Whenever Cape Cadaver comes out, I have to get this because yeah. this is just absolutely hilarious, and I must read it. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty weird. <laughs> it's, it's uh, I'm always a little worried that it's a little too stupid because <laughs> there, there's no such thing. I don't know. I've 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 read a lot of out there stuff. I, I I'm I I think anything that as long as you've got a story and again like I think like what you were saying earlier about sort of how the, the, the kind of the deeper meaning of the character kind of evolves and uh, you've got that metaphor in there. I think that uh, that that creates a, a really strong basis for a uh, like a like a cool yeah. conflicted character and uh, you know all kinds of stuff that that's relatable to and uh, you almost kind of I I I I love how kind of it it it, it almost caters to to our uh age and demographic too because you know like a lot of this culture of uh you know like these 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 nerds they're going to ambush everybody at alderney landing in uh next month uh our, it's that's our that's our age cohort you know like uh, uh so it's uh, I, that's one great thing i find about these cons is that there's so much relatability uh at the and it just seems to be one of those uh uh, uh synergies of our ages and uh, and hobbies all kind of now, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, it took uh, it took 25 Marvel movies to to kind of get people interested in uh, yeah. in certain aspects of uh, of of this art. But uh, at the same time, uh, you know, I think there's a, there's a lot of great conversations and a lot of connections that are made uh, between, uh, you know, like the, the you know, people that go to the cons and the people that are at the uh, behind the tables now because it's all we're all kind of in the same uh, it's like our, our, yeah. our, our graduating class finally <laughs> you know we all, we all kind of got interested in the same thing at the same time so it's yeah. like find a great uh, great convergence of that yes it's uh it's been kind of a really a comfort to me just kind of meeting people that were into the same thing mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, I don't know so I'm going to put you on the spot here. Um, someone comes up to you and say, how can I get into this? What do you, you know, how do I get into this industry? What's your advice to them? Um, 
I would say depending where you are, um, if you're young and just kind of starting out, um, like, like if you're real young in, in, you know, grade school or whatever, just have fun and draw whatever you feel like drawing and just kind of build your kind of love of the thing. Cause you know, you'll have lots of time later on to draw stuff that, that, uh, everybody else wants you to draw. Mm -hmm. Um, but like if you're going into college or something, just to kind of get into a place with like-minded people, like, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be college for me. It was college. Cause like these were all, dorks and animation nerds and stuff that were into into uh all this stuff and we kind of cultivated like a like a healthy kind of uh competitiveness mm -hmm. yeah and uh i mean it that's one thing you gotta kind of brace for is that it's it's competitive but it doesn't have to be like um destructively competitive like like uh you can compete with somebody and not tear them down try to tear them apart or ruin mm -hmm. you know you can you can compete with somebody that you want to see succeed like right it's uh uh so that that's kind of a the the biggest thing for me was finding people that that I could have share the you know same frame of reference for you know the artwork that I wanted to do mm -hmm. and, and then uh you know they can should you know they'll tell you about the art artists they admire and, and you can you know share the artists you, that you like and it's like you just grow faster that way and uh kind of understand more about other people's tastes and it's so that that was like the the number one thing for me and then the rest is just uh work like it's like if you want to make a comic book then start making a comic book like yeah. right now. like even if yeah. you because i i waited till i felt like i was ready and I kind of wish that I hadn't because, you know, um, uh, it took me longer than I would have liked to kind of get to where I am with my own book. But uh, just start on the thing that you want to do because, you know, even if it's not like the big overwhelming success that you hope it is, if you keep chipping away at it, at least it's going to get done and it'll be something that people can see. And if people can see it, then they can appreciate that you did it. So it's, yeah. a, it's like, um, I don't know. It, it's just kind of a way to prove yourself and kind of build a portfolio and get better at all at the same time. So it's like, just do that thing that you're thinking about doing. Like that's pretty much that that's like the hardest thing is it, it sounds so stupid, but it's, it's, it's so hard to be like, you know, I don't feel like I'm as good as I want to be, but I'm going to do this anyway, even if it's terrible, you know, but, uh, you I'll don't know if you better. don't try. Yeah, well, I'll be better. You don't know if you don't try, and you'll be better by the end of it. Yeah. And, yeah. I like and, that. Uh, it's just kind of a cycle of doing that over and over and over again. Nice. That's fantastic advice. Yeah. And, and it, you know, it, it, it eliminates uh, those opportunities for regret down the road, too, I think. Because, like, uh, you Absolutely. know, you have those those revelations yeah. that if only I had started sooner. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, that, that, that's a, you know, great, great advice. Yeah. Uh, I, I really like that. Uh, where where can people find uh, find your work, Devin, if they're they're looking for you after they see this? And we're going to be putting this on the bottom of uh, the, 
the ticker, if you will. Uh, I have a, a website at devontaylorart.com. Uh, I'm reasonably new to Kara. Uh, and I got, I'm on Instagram and um, I got a fan page on Facebook too. Uh, nice. So, yeah, that's kind of my online stuff. I used to be that's on awesome. But Twitter, yeah, Twitter. I, 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 yeah, yeah. I, 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 we, uh, we have a presence on Twitter, but I don't anymore. I, I, I <laughs> yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes I go there and I, I don't know what's going on with my <laughs> algorithms, uh, especially for the show. It's weird. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a strange place. Uh, Twitter's become a really weird, uh, yeah. weird environment. Yeah. So yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll go to all the other places. Yes, and, uh, absolutely. So, yeah. uh, your your website's great. Uh, I I love all the work. I love your sketch uh, sketchbook project with the the milk. Uh, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a good, awesome, <laughs> awesome story. Uh, it was like 2012. I did that. That's uh, that one's pretty old, but that's uh, a while wow. back. Eh? Yeah, it's a, a, it's a fun one. It's a, it's a ride. So was that? Uh, just uh, we got a, we got a couple seconds here. But uh, was that something that you you worked on from beginning to end, or was it something that you started and it just kind of added to over a period of time? Uh, I can't remember how long it took, but yeah, it was just kind of. Uh, uh, like it's kind of like an animation you have keyframe animation yeah. and then there's straight ahead where you don't have keys you're just animating as you go yeah so it was kind of it was kind of a little more like that i didn't really have like the key points where i yeah. was planning on going i just kind of add a page and <laughs> figured i'd wrap it up when I, whenever i got close to the end yeah yeah it was a, it looked it was a lot of fun and i, I love the ending so yeah, yeah you can check that one out on devin taylor.com uh look man this was a this was a really fun chat. I'm really glad we got to do this. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Uh, thanks and for having me. It was a uh, really nice meeting you guys. I uh... please keep us in the please keep us in the loop with uh, Cape Cape Cadaver because I I I want to get my hands on that first one. I don't care uh, and famous as well because yeah. uh, I think that sounds like a lot of fun. And we'll we'll help get that out. We'll get the word out for it. Awesome. Thank you very much. I, I, I would love to unbox it and play it uh, in, in, in real time. That'd be kind of fun too. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, awesome. we'll see uh, when, once we can get like a uh, full, uh, what's it called? Mock up demo. Yeah. 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 I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Prototype or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Prot there That's you go. It. Yeah. There you nice. Go. Human words. <laughs> right, yeah, that's that. I had a very large coffee as we spoke, so that, that, that <laughs> took took an hour for my words to come, but it happened. Uh, right on. Right on. Look, have a, have an amazing rest of the weekend. Yes. Again, thanks for taking time out of your uh, Saturday morning to talk to us. Looking forward to. Uh, I, I'm not sure if we'll be at decaf, uh, but if if we don't see you there, uh, have have a great time. You're going to really like it. It's a, it's a, it's an awesome show, and uh, yeah, keep in touch. We'll uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll definitely have to have you back on. Absolutely. Right on. See you hey, around. Thanks, Devin. Take care. Take care. Thank you.